with the uh, incoming boat, uh, Have It Easy. These boys going out are running in at some pretty big waves on the north side of the pier, and we've got that riptide. We see inside the boat that they, they do have a place to put their feet to uh, retain leverage when they're pulling on the oars. And look at that. Notice how they're trying to get to the bottom of the boat to maintain a lower center of gravity. They are out of control. They are swamped. Right now, the Carpinteria boat, which won a year ago with Jeff White and Paul Hodger currently in the lead. And they say these boats are unsinkable. That's about as close as you can get. quickly get back to the junior men's competition a good set coming in and we'll be back to pick up both waves curling in i can't believe these waves i think we have two or three boats down on the other side of the pier and they haven't even begun to face the uh, rising waves on the other side i think the surf is coming up but quite fast in first place carpinteria five cards uh, from that club led by jeff white and paul hodger who won this event a year ago seems impossible anybody could repeat. Who'd want to go back for a second chance? Well, they are in excellent condition and they've really been practicing for this. Now as the boats come in to the break, tremendous turbulence there. There's a big sandbar here. You get a cross swell from the pier. These waves spawn perhaps by a storm a thousand miles away down in Mexico. Look at this. How would you like to look up and see that? sideways to try to get that boat in position to get it up on shore and this is where it's really critical this is where a race is it can be won or lost uh, that sprint up the beach sometimes is uh, really a hard thing to do after making it around that pier uh oh look at this one boat over that boat did a complete flip and down it goes that was a second place boat by the way and the fellows are going to swim on into shore Carpinteria has won the race for the second year in a row with Jeff White and Paul Hodger. They're coming in. Bill, we've got a giant set building outside. I can see the waves out there. Right, and I think we've got big trouble. with a big grin on their face, and this one was torpedo, I think. For heaven's sake, the poor side has been stove in. Looks like a war. Well, you can see why this is such a popular sport out here, but I imagine a little bit expensive. Yes, those uh, joys are about $500 a piece, I think. This is uh, the second boat, and they're going to try to get in to win that second place spot, but it's going to be tough. If they can stay in the bottom and keep the boat upright, both developed just with the wave itself. Wow, what a race! Indeed, a very specialized sport. The sport of dory racing, which originated in Australia and which has now become so popular out here in the West Coast. And this is our winning boat, the Carpinteria Lifeguards, Jeff White and Paul Hodger. And a wonderful demonstration that does have its life-saving aspects to it.